them sleeves on and this is my help journey. I've been overweight since I was a child and I've tried so many ways to lose weight. Different diets from pills, shakes, different types of exercises. I've tried most of them and some were successful, some not so much. So basically my weight fluctuated going up and down and nothing really seemed to work. And then in January 2019, I started this health journey and so far I believe it has been really successful for me because I started with 245 pounds and as of today September 28 2021 I am now at 188 pounds and basically lost 57 pounds and I'm gonna tell you what I did I've been posting my weight loss progress on my social media accounts and recently a lot of people have been messaging me asking me about my weight loss program um, what I eat what exercises would I do but mostly they were just telling me that they were inspired um, they felt motivated by what I was doing and it encouraged them to do the same and then there was this one person who approached me and asked me if I would like to be invited to an online group conference um, where I would just basically talk about my weight loss program and it would help them or motivate them to do the same. Um, and it kind of gave me an idea to start this vlog. In this vlog, I would be answering the questions that you asked me and I hope it will inspire, motivate, or help you um, to begin your own health journey. It's never easy to start a diet or to begin that health journey. Um, I think beginning is the most difficult part but once you've already started and got your rhythm into it everything becomes easier i am not an expert so what you will be listening to in this video will be based from my own experience what i learned um, while on this health journey what I went through, what are the things that I learned based on what I read, what I researched on. So don't expect that it will be coming from an expert. So it will only be based on my own personal experience. All right, so let's start answering your questions. Question number one, what is your motivation? Okay, um, in 2018, I got my medical results and they were bad. Lahat mataas. Mataas ang sugar, mataas ang uric, mataas ang cholesterol. Um, parang sinakop ko na yata lahat. And that kind of scared me and made me conscious about my health. And... I have people dependent on me um, and I had our family and I would always remember what my dad said that if you really love and care for your family you should take care of yourself you know prolong your life something like that and that kind of triggered me to start really um, focusing on my health to start doing something about it question number two how did you start paano mo sinimulan okay um first i asked myself 
um, where I failed in my previous diets. Tinanong ko yung sarili ko, bakit nag-fail yung ibang diets ko? And I didn't want that to happen again. I don't want this diet to fail. I wanted it to be successful and I really wanted to be healthy. Um, not just to, to trim down, to lose weight, but to really be healthy. And um, it made me realize that what made me fail before was that I felt so stressed dieting. I felt the pressure of dieting. And I realized that the more I felt pressured, the more it failed. Na kapag nafe-feel ko na na, nahirapan na ako, mabilis akong sumuko na lalo lang ako nagigive up sa diet ko. So, that's when I realized that this is going to be a journey. No, it's not just going to be something that's, that I'm going to do for two weeks time, for a month, three months until I lose the weight. No, being healthy is not time bound. Being healthy is a, a, a lifetime journey. It's going to be something that you will be doing the rest of your life. You, to choose to be healthy is going to be for the rest of your life. For the rest of our lives and that's why I said to myself I wanted a diet that would be a part of my lifestyle that I won't feel pressured because it's gonna be part of my routine it's gonna be uh, something that that I will incorporate in my lifestyle and it's going to be it's going to be something that's that is permanent and that's why I that's probably why I don't like to call it a diet and I would rather call it a health um, journey uh, or healthy living because just thinking about the word health or healthy makes me realize that I'm doing something that is good for myself, good for my family, good for the people around me and it's not just, I don't know, something about the word diet makes me feel that I'm gonna fail. <laughs> Um, maybe that's just psychological but um, this works for me um, and you know not every diet is the same uh, not every diet works for everybody whatever what is working for me not be may not work for you and it might but basically what I'm saying is look for for something that will work for you um, you have to learn to listen to your body. You have to learn to listen to what is comfortable for you. You're, you're probably the same as I am. That if you feel that you're stressed and you're pressured, you probably will just end up quitting. So find something that will be comfortable for you. Find something that you like. And find some something that you think will be working or will work better for you. Um... Yeah, so find out what what failed before and like for my case I don't like being pressured and then um, see what you can do about it and you have to realize that it's a journey it becomes a part of your everyday life and not just something temporary or within a few months that you will be doing that's it okay this is not a question but a reminder um, don't do drastic changes gradual changes it took me years to put it on so of course I'm, it's gonna take a while before um, before I lose all of it um, or most of it even and we just have to be patient and like I said there's no race if it's a lifestyle change so no need to rush when you tend to rush, you tend to get frustrated. And when you get frustrated, you quit. Okay, so you have to realize that changes will be gradual and that um, you just have to be patient and understand that that's part of the process. Okay, um, next tip. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Um, a lot of times are the harshest people that judge us is ourselves okay uh, based on what i experienced on my diets 
there will be instances that you will stumble, you will fall. Um, like in, for cases like your you have this particular meal plan and then you suddenly eat something that's not part of the meal plan and you become so harsh on yourself like oh no i failed um paano ba yan nakakain ako ng ganito nakakain ako ng ganyan um sige nga total nadaya ako na rin nagfail na rin ako kakain na lang din ako sige bukas na lang uli yung diet ko o kaya wag na lang mag diet Ayan. So, just because we ate something out of the meal plan, we scrapped the whole thing off. No. Um, be kind to yourself. No. Uh, tomorrow is another day. So, you can start by, by telling yourself, Oh no, I ate this. Okay, that's fine. That's, just don't eat any more of that. Um, and then, the following day, you'll just tell yourself, I'll do better. Tomorrow, maybe I'll eat less of this. Uh, or maybe I'll do a little bit more exercise tomorrow. Um, be kind to yourself. I mean, if you are like like me, as heavy as I was before, I've been fat shamed, I've been fat bullied, I've experienced it all. I mean, people some of these people can be harsh and some of these people can really say the most painful words so ang kakampi mo is yung sarili mo so please don't be too brutal on yourself um kung totoo sen dapat um ikaw pa ang kakampi na sa ikaw pa yung nagbubu sa sarili mo um the first person to, to help you is yourself. The first person to love you is yourself. And when you have the support from yourself, it's a good start. Um, you would be more, you would be stronger as, as a person um, in this health journey. So you have to be kinder to yourself. That ends the first part of this series of vlogs. Um, I hope I was able to help you with my answers to your questions. Um, if you have more questions, just comment them below or you can just simply message me and I'll try to answer them in my next videos. Um, in the next videos, I will be talking about my meal plan and my exercises. Um, until then, I hope I have inspired you and motivated you to start your own healthy journey.